So hey guys, Gabriel here, and today, well, I'm going to be making the type of video that is kind of a bit of a rant and kind of a bit of a story time. So if you guys know these types of videos, please know that there's going to be a lot of excessive cursing. So you guys have been warned. So today is going to be about a rude-ass customer that came into my work today. As you can see, I'm still in my work clothes and everything. I'm still fucking hot and sweaty and my hair's kind of fucked up and everything, but yeah. So today we had a little bit of a safety meeting in the morning at 9 a.m. and I'm already like, you know, tired and everything. I usually get around up around like, you know, 10 and everything because I sleep a lot. So the safety meeting starts at 8 and then I it ends around 9 and then I go back home and everything and then at 2 my that's when my shift starts and today I didn't really even feel like going into work I was genuinely like you know fucking tired and every, everything I had to wake up earlier than usual I you know I barely have any caffeine in my body I had some breakfast so the first two hours of my shift were like you know fairly normal you know we were having slow business because today is Easter which by the way happy Easter business was running slow um, we weren't getting as much sales as we wanted and we were like you know we were we weren't selling as much as we wanted but then you know stuff starts speeding up and you know some customers come in but it's still like you know very slow service by the way i should mention this i do work at a fast food restaurant so once things start speeding up we get this elderly couple now i'm training this new employee because you know she's new and everything she doesn't really know the restaurant that much and then you know i'm trying to teach her how to use the cash register and then teach her how to make all the food and everything so i told her hey i'm gonna teach you how to use the cash register while i'm getting these two customers so i put her in front of the cash register making sure she does it does everything right and then um this woman uh this elderly woman who is with the couple shut the fuck up she starts speaking and everything i forgot what she kind of said but she starts speaking about like how um she wants only this burger and everything and only she had to speak in this really fucking mean ass tone literally the most fucking disrespectful tone you can ever say to an employee at a restaurant or a fast food place i should be saying so this woman walks up to the cash register and says so this woman walks up to the cash register and and like you know in the most disrespectful tone of voice says can i get my burger Burger plane and she had to keep on enunciating it and she always kept on asking these questions about what the plain burger is and I'm like okay do you want this on that still do you want this on that still because we still have automatic things that still come on a plain burger she was like no 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 and I'm like ma'am I'm just asking you the question please calm down and then her husband this elderly fucking hag walks up next and then he he is the most loudest talking ass rude person I've ever fucking met with his bitch ass wife I don't usually call people hags or you know bitches all the time but it takes a specific person to fucking piss me off where I call them a fucking hag and a fucking bitch because that's what these two people were. A fucking match made in heaven or match made in hell because holy shit these are the most disrespectful people I have ever met in my life so while this woman is being rude to me and everything um, I finish her order up and then her husband comes up and I'm and then she he, like I said before he is the loudest person talking and he's like do you did you get that did you get that I'm like Sir, I will repeat the order back to you um, when I'm done taking your order. I'm just asking you these questions because it's required that I say it. It is company policy. He was like, did you get it? Did you get it? Did you get it? So I repeat the order back to him and everything. And he he's like, all right, hold this till later and everything. I'm like, okay. And while he's yelling at me and everything, um, even my manager comes from behind me and says like, yo, you have to chill and calm down. Thank God I have these good ass managers because they witnessed the whole incident. And my managers know that I'm a good ass person i'm a good ass 15 year old who actually respects employees as much as i can even though how much they treat me like shit i still have to you know respect the employees and not might i mention that i'm still teaching the, the other employee right next to me so i told the other the new employee what well this was during the elderly woman so i told the new employee to like you know go clean something because i was going to deal with these like rude ass people because she is caught in the crossfire of this and i don't want her to be sad because she's just starting so i'm done taking these rude ass hags orders but hold up the story even gets fucking worse for me so the elderly couple gets their food and everything i give them their like you know hold until later items which they yelled at me about so then this golf team comes over and then they start ordering a bunch of food and it's hard to keep track of all these orders because i'm trying to teach this new employee while i'm trying to get these orders while i'm trying to teach her how to get the orders how to get the orders down on the cash register so after the golf team is done ordering their food and they get their cups and everything or their water cups and instead of using the water cups for like you know water they use their water cups for getting soda so the woman comes up to the front of the cash register and says hey sir um do you see those people using their water cups for soda and then she says well they're using their water cups for like soda and everything and i just don't think that is right yes it is wrong to get a water cup and then use it for soda but we've all done it before it is not that big of a deal so this elderly woman comes up to the front of the cash register thinking that she runs the fucking place like she's a fucking manager even though she's fucking not this old ass hag thinks she has 
has the fucking nerve to think that she can run the place even though we are in the fucking control. It is not their business for what the other customers are doing. And I'm like, ma'am, I don't know what to say. Um, I'm not really in charge to like, you know, yell at them or control at them. Obviously it's wrong to do that, but I just, I just don't have the time or patience to, you know, deal with that. She thinks that she is running the place. She is not a fucking manager. I can't believe this old ass hag had the time and patience to come up to me and says like, I'm doing my job wrong. Bitch, I do not get paid enough for doing that type of shit. Bitch had her eyes bugging out of her head. Bitch looking like Wendy Williams. Bitch be looking like this monster right here. I could fold her chin up over her eyes. Bitch had a red shirt and looked like she was a bowling ball. Bitch looked like she needed an electric wheelchair because her husband couldn't push her ass. So the woman walked back to our table and her husband came up for a bag and everything. Luckily I wasn't talking to his bitch ass because I was going to leave that to my managers. I was not going to deal with this couple anymore today. It just ruined my whole fucking day. I would have crossed my arms, look at them, and then roll my eyes to the back of my fucking skull to where I I can see my brain because I was gonna turn into the most sassiest bitch known to the man. I will give the hardest eye roll when I see these motherfuckers again. Yes, I know I'm sounding like I'm really mean right now, but I'm telling you, I try to give these customers the most respect that I have because even in the most, like, you know, even when you're at work, you have to main maintain a level of profession. For how much I wanted to cross my arms and give these people the hardest eye roll known to man, I couldn't. Treat these customers as much respect as you can. Yes, you might not receive the kindness back, but remember, stay professional. Do not lose your job over some stupid shit. Those people are just not worth it, and there's going to be dicks sometimes. And that's what I actually told my new employee. I told them, like, hey, those people are dicks. There's going to be some people out there who are just not going to be, you know, compliant with you and who are just going to be, like, complete assholes. But remember, maintain your level of profession and try to not take it personally. But anyway, guys, see you guys later, and bye. Old-ass motherfuckers.